In a world more than 120 light years away, scientists say they found the strongest signs yet of extraterrestrial life using the James Webb Space Telescope. The team has detected specific gases on a planet known as K218b. Now on Earth, the gases are only produced by living organisms, mainly algae and other microbes. And the discovery suggests that the planet may be teeming with microbial life. The scientists stress they haven't yet discovered actual alien life. Instead, this is just the first hint that biological processes are happening on a planet other than Earth. So let's hear uh, from one of the scientists who detected these possible signatures of life in space. That is a, a major breakthrough in our search for life beyond the solar system. Um, not only that there is a chance that the planet can actually be habitable, but what we are finding is that we are demonstrating that it is possible to detect biosignatures around uh, uh, in atmospheres of such planets around nearby stars with existing facilities. And that's a big breakthrough. Matthew Ward Aegis has more for us from DW Science. Uh, Matthew, tell us more about what they have actually found here. It's an interesting one. They've used the James Webb Space Telescope and they found that there are signals, signs as we heard just then, of dimethyl sulfide and dimethyl disulfide. These are chemical gases uh, which are particularly abundant in Earth's oceans. What uh, this perhaps indicates, or what it's being suggested might uh, be indicated by it, is that this gas that is produced, these chemicals that are produced, are only produced on Earth by phytoplankton and marine bacteria. So if, uh, as is being potentially suggested here, uh, it is the case that there is life on planets, it's going to be a very simple life form, similar to what we might find in our own oceans. Um, it's uh, being touted um, as a, a major breakthrough, as we, we heard then, and, and that's partly because we rarely see these chemicals uh, on other planets, on other exoplanets, in this case one that is 124 light years away, quite a distance for us to get to, um, and on a world that's about eight to nine times the size of our own planet. So a very different environment to what we're used to seeing here um, and within our own local galactic neighbourhood within the solar system. And yet I am hearing you use a lot of qualifiers there. Is this a major breakthrough or should we be taking these findings with a grain of salt? Yes, it's uh, being described as a breakthrough. I've seen that it's been written as discovery in some places. Now, discovery is a very specific term when it comes to these sorts of things in science. There's a three in 1,000 chance that, uh, that this isn't a, uh, a fluke. That's pretty, pretty good odds, you would say. To be considered a, a true discovery by the scientific community, it needs to be a one in 10 million statistical chance so that it wasn't a fluke. So um, we are talking pretty good odds, but not quite good enough. But there's also the question here about what this signal might actually be. Yes, we know that these chemicals are produced by phytoplankton and by marine bacteria on Earth. We're talking about a planet some distance away. We don't know what chemistries that play on this planet. There's a hypothesis that this planet is a, a water world, uh, similar perhaps to, to what we might imagine Earth to be. But then in the same journal that this research was published, uh, there was a paper at the start of this year saying that, well, actually, I think it's a, a, a groundless gas giant. So um, we don't know a lot about this world. We don't know a lot about what is going on. Uh, we only have these signals to go by. So it's a bit of a stretch to say that there's life on other planets just yeah. yet in this case. I suppose many will be wondering, though, does it bring us any closer to finding life somewhere else in the universe? Absolutely. And the JWST, the James Webb Space Telescope, is an amazing piece of technology. And we can use it to see these sorts of chemical signals, which are going to be the best chance of us spotting life or, or indeed other atmospheric uh, anomalies elsewhere in our solar system, elsewhere rather in our galaxy or in, in the universe. So, um, yes, this is a a breakthrough to a certain extent that's probably the best way to frame this up and many other astrophysicists have been uh, all over blue sky this morning qualifying these findings uh, i guess if there's one certainty uh, in life uh, we might not be sure if there's life on other planets but we can be certain that the scientists on this one will often find ways to disagree with one another <laughs> that's the process of science this is very, absolutely very robust, but these things just sort of open up our world to, to new new possibilities 
Yeah, thank you so much for joining us with that. We've been speaking with Matthew Ward-Ages from DW Science.